it's a beautiful morning here in South Wales so I've decided to go to the seaside I love the seaside I think it's probably because I grew up in Johannesburg where there's no seaside for hundreds of miles so it's always seemed a bit of a novelty to me being able to go to the seaside and it's October I think it's the 13th the week that the Chancellor and the Prime Minister were laughed at in the House of Commons the week where Jacob Rees-Cock, the minister for the 19th century, said that the BBC were breaching impartiality rules by pointing out the catastrophic failures of the government. A Tory MP has taken to Twitter to tell us that Liz Truss's advisers are actually, wait for it, lefty Ramonas. If it was a film, no one would believe it. So it was too far-fetched. So the best thing we can do is forget about politics and go and ride a bike. Just don't tell grand chaps. More astute viewers will have noticed that I'm out on the Giant, which I haven't ridden for some time. And regular watchers will know that I've had a bit of a love-hate relationship with the old Giant. But all you fast ride riders out there, I do want to love the bike. It is a great bike. That's so many things. So, many people will be saying, yeah, but then why did you buy the Giant? in the first place. Well, to answer that, I'll have to take you back in time. As Johnny Walker would say. See, I don't really think that I can get across just how unfit I was. to the point that it scared me and I didn't even know if I could ride a bike anymore so I took to Facebook marketplace to look for something cheap in case I didn't take to it and having looked at a, a couple of bikes I came across a Cube Hide Pro and that was really appealing to me because in the 36 years that I haven't been cycling things got a little bit out of hand when it came to gears because numbers sell. Doesn't matter whether you need them or not. The fact that one manufacturer tells you I've got 10, well I've got 11. Another one's got 12. Numbers sell. And it got to the point where it was getting a bit ridiculous. So 
because manufacturers couldn't work out how to put any more gears on the back. So they decided to give you three chain rings, which of course meant that you spent all day fiddling around with gears trying to work out the best ratio. And the Cube Hide Pro had eight gears. And I thought that's perfect. Eight gears is enough for anyone. And not only that, they're sequential. So you haven't got to worry about third cog small chain ring is equal to second cog big chain ring or anything like that he could just get on with riding the bike and at the time that I bought the bike I'd heard so many horror stories that I thought I wasn't going to ride on the road just on cycle paths and lanes And I appreciated the fact that the giant, sorry, the cube, I appreciated the fact that the cube could go anywhere. Gravel lanes, narrow paths, easy to get through cycle bars. Morning. So, when I got the bug and I decided I was going to keep on with this cycling, and also by then started riding on roads, and I wanted to go a bit faster, so I thought the gravel bike would be the best option, and it was. The checkpoint works well when I'm on the road, but I can go anywhere with it, and it's great. So there we go, everything was sorted out, except I wanted a second bike, mainly for redundancy. case one bike wasn't working, could ride the other one. I mean I could have just kept the cube, but the problem with the cube was that in the time that I did ride it I found there were some limitations. I mean the Nexus hub system is fantastic. Especially compared to the old Sturmey Archer three speed. But there are some limitations. And I found that if you were trying to push on a bit, especially going up a hill. where you wanted to make snap gear changes the Nexus wouldn't have that it wanted you to stop pedalling wait for the gear to drop through and of course when I say a limitation, limitation to me people using the bike for transport riding around town we find that that's no problem at all I also realised 
if the cube was too small for me. So the cube ended up being sold. So when I started looking for a second bike, well, there's no point in having two exactly the same. I used to do that when I was racing, but for now, I'll get something a little bit different to the trek. and I decided that what I did miss was the agility of the flat bar cube being able to navigate narrow gates and cycle paths and so on so I started looking for another bike And the giant was one that I really liked the look of. I still do. And to use that annoying expression, it ticked all the boxes. Lightweight, flat bar, agile bike with derailleur gears. And then Rutland Cycling and a good deal on and I got one for a very good price but unfortunately we didn't bond right away the tyres are definitely road tyres And even on a wet road there was very little confidence but once you got up onto cycle paths with concrete gullies and so on it was very difficult to ride in the wet and possibly my expectations were too high as well I thought it was going to be as fast as a Pinarello and as agile as a mountain bike and I'm not blaming the bike it is a good bike and I would still recommend it to people and I've still got it because I want to love it I don't want to get rid of it, I just want to sort out one or two minor issues I'm having. So what are those issues? Well firstly, as I've said, the tyres. And a lot of that's my fault because I don't want to throw away perfectly good tyres. But I've got to the point now where I think, yep, that's what you need to do. Another problem I have with it is that I've got big shoulders. So I can never go as fast on this bike as I can on the trek because I'm basically just a big air brake. So I'm going to cut the bars. And then I should probably use the bike more for what it was designed for. It's one of the members of the Facebook giant fast road group. 
and he rides around Kuala Lumpur where I used to live and I love looking at his posts to see how the city has changed since I lived there but that's what he does he rides around the city he stops he takes photos whereas I treat every ride as a race and today dare I say it I'm really quite enjoying riding this bike still got seven miles to go till I get home but for now I'm finding it quite comfortable Well, here we are, 16 and a half miles in, and the bike's still feeling comfy. I think we're going to become good friends, me and the giant. <laughs>